So here I'm going to give you some good ideas to keep your energy high, make work a no drama zone. What you say creates your day. Did you know that? I saw on this church sign, it was fantastic. It said, you could be the fountain or you could be the drain. We have the power to make changes in our lives with time, with energy, with our attitude. Every time you complain about something, I want you to say, so what, now what? How do we raise our own mood elevator? Well, here is an awesome tip. It is the two hour good mood commitment. Uh, what it is, is you don't have to act like you're in a good mood. Don't worry. <laughs> you say it for the first two hours of the day only. I'm not asking for much. Two hours. You wake up, you're exhausted. The first thing you say, it's a good thing I'm in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to act like it. You go to the refrigerator, you open it up, you take out the milk, it's empty. Normally that'd make me mad. It's a good thing, I'm in a good mood. Yeah, no, don't put it back, you gotta throw it away. Come on, people. You get in your car, you start driving to work and you're the only one who knows how to drive today. Someone pulls out in front of you, goes slowly. Man, that guy is so lucky. I'm in a good mood. You get to work, someone's parked in your parking spot. Your name's not on it, but everybody knows you parked there. No, in fact, you ever walk by somebody, how you doing? They start to tell you and you're like, oh no. Oh, wow, that's, that's quite a rash. Um, you say fine, I say fine, we keep walking. Because isn't that what it is? How are you fine, fine? Not the first two hours of the day. People ask you how you are, I'm in a great mood, keep walking. And they get really curious. They start following you down the hall. What makes you so happy? Are you leaving? <laughs> when the two hours are up, what do you think happens? You are authentically in a good mood and you have no idea how it happened. Why? Because of this awesome tip. What you say comes your way. So if you say things like, I can't remember names, I can't remember names, it's not a surprise when you can't remember names. Stop saying that. You flip the script. Ooh, what a surprise. Usually I'm really good at names. <laughs> What's your name again? Because I'm surprised. <laughs> Usually I'm good. <laughs> it's amazing. We talk, we think about, you know, treating other people well. It's important, but we got to also take a look at how we're talking to ourselves. You know, if you say things like, I can't lose weight, I can't lose weight a million times, you're probably right. I can't remember names, I can't remember names, you're probably right. Be careful what you're putting into your programming. I used to have a problem, used to, of being extremely clumsy. One time I was the MC for an event where I got to introduce George W. Bush. It was very exciting. Actually, I'm so important, I was introducing the video <laughs> that introduced George. <laughs> you know, we're like this, but I'm over here. Okay, so it's <laughs> close, but not that close. So. I say to the audience, up next, our keynote speaker is gonna just, you're gonna love this. In fact, let's roll the video. Okay, they roll the video, lights go out, sh boom. Complete darkness. I don't know how to get off the stage. <laughs> you know how when you're in a bright light and then there's no light, like, it, blinded. And I was like, oh no. And I thought, just don't fall off the stage. So I turn and I start booking to, I just want to get to safety. And so I'm like this, as fast as I can, I get to the edge, boom. So when I hit him, boom, he reached back and grabbed the rail. I didn't have a rail <laughs> on my side, so I had to grab George. <laughs> because I had to, we were going down. And so he's got the rail and his free hand, he's going, ha, 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 ha. He thought it was funny. And I'm like, ah. And within like two seconds, I felt all these hands, you know. <laughs> Secret Service was like, and peeled me off of George. And he was laughing. They were not laughing. <laughs> I'm taken into the room and I'm trying to tell him like, this happens all the time. But this is getting to be a real problem. I realized what I was doing 
because your brain, what fires together, wires together. And you say these things to yourself, whether it's like, we have the best patients, we have the worst patients, today is going to be the worst day ever. I mean, your brain's like, okay, this is where we're going. Try the 10 coin challenge. It's when you take 10 coins, you put them in your pocket. You don't have pockets, get pockets. <laughs> People have a complaint about everything. Zippity doo doo. Sorry, so. 10 coins, you look for something that people are doing right. Start with your family. I tell my kids, like, thank you for making your own lunch. Thank you for, you know, who can you appreciate? Get to work. Hey, thank you. You know, you're always on time. I never really say thanks, but that's cool. Well, that's what they shame me and doing. It doesn't hurt ya. you. Didn't you and your, I'm going to thank them for doing their job. Yes. Yes. Do it. You say, I appreciate it, and be specific with it, and every time you do, a coin gets moved from your one pocket to your other pocket. Now, don't be obvious, like, hey, I really like, ooh, ooh, you know, like, <laughs> it's just for you quietly to do discreetly. By the end of the day, you want total coin transfer. Total coin transfer from one side to the other. See how that changes your day. Oh, the change for change, bro. See how that changes your day by looking for things that are going well rather than who's messing up? <laughs> who's not doing what they're supposed to be doing? When sometimes if we just put on grateful goggles, what can we appreciate? I'm going to show you an, an example of potential conflict, how you hold the power. So if you're able to, stand up. If you're able to, get a partner. Doesn't matter who it is. Decide, get a partner real quick. Decide who's partner A, par partner B, not a big deal. If you want to remain seated, that's okay too. You getting up? This is an example of passive and aggressive communication. Passive people are like, I don't care. What do you want to be? <laughs> the aggressive people are like, I'm A, you're B, whatever, backside. All right, so there's, there's a lot of leaders here. There's a lot of, a lot of leaders. Okay. This is an example of potential conflict. Partner A, make a fist. Partner B, try to get it open. Begin. <laughs> Be outstanding or get involved elsewhere. You've got to boogie. You've got to bring it every day. There's a lot of people out there that would love the job that you're complaining about every day. And don't think that your customers don't feel what's going on. One more tip. Bring you bring it on. I'm Christine Cashin. Thank you very much.